Hey guys, we're with Robin Pimsy, and welcome back to the Age Hello. of Calamity DLC. Uh, true to the word, Pimsy did not do any grinding or any side missions. Before. I told you I wouldn't. I didn't have time. Yeah, you you didn't have time. Well, we'll, we'll go with that as an answer. I've literally been in my studio for the last two days. Like, mm -hmm. what do you expect? Mm -hmm. from me? Uh, so we are still going to be going through some of the vicious monster levels uh, because we need those for the world challenges. And Pimsy is also going to be doing the challenges to uh, kill enemies using remote bombs or cryonics or whatever uh, happens as they come up. Uh, so this is just a normal standard mission. I don't even know what it's for. It's just to get materials and stuff. So it's uh, one of the sensor missions then? Uh, well, it's just a random mission that... But it's one that you it. put a sensor marker on, right? Uh, they're giving me sensor markers, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's fine. I had a quick look before we started. Uh, we currently have 14 Terraco components. And you need 50 to unlock him as a character. So, don't think we'll be doing that anytime soon. No, I know, but if it happens to happen, then mm -hmm. great. But I'm not gonna, like, break my back doing it. Yeah. Uh, and as it turns out, the character from DLC 1 is at the end of the challenge list, so you have to go through all the other challenges beforehand. I am just going to double check though because it is worth figuring out if you have to do all of them or most of them. There's a big difference between those two. Uh, character unlock requirement. Da, 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 da. Okay. Because we've unlocked the first new weapon, which is the flail. That's for the need to get as Link. So I imagine one of the DLC 2 missions will require you to play as Link at some point. So Probably, I mean, you generally have to play as all the characters. But I think that that will come after we've unlocked all the other characters, like the table in that mission, and Darek and stuff. Yeah, maybe. Uh, so, you will need to cl complete requests and challenges at the Royal Ancient Lab. Uh, da -da -da -da. No, it, doesn't, it doesn't have an actual thing to show them all on the same screen, which is a bit pointless. That's the kind of the little thing I'm trying to figure out. Maybe I should be looking for how to actually unlock that character rather than acquire it. Let's have a look see, shall we? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, so... Because I'm getting results for the final character of DLC 2, but not for DLC 1. Alright. There we go, that's better. So you'll have to complete most of the challenges. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, so it says, ignore the top level of the challenges because they don't help you unlock the character. So unfortunately for us, we've already done most of the top uh, level of challenges because they're the ones that have the you have the ability to buy apples and apples heal more and they cost less and stuff like that. Fine. Uh, it says work through the web to reach and unlock and complete the challenges. So let's see. Yeah, it seems like middle and bottom path only. Well, I'm the not. Way hmm? I'm just gonna do whatever comes natural. Well, yeah, yeah, of course, but. If you can focus your efforts on getting the character by doing the specific challenges, you'll do those rather than the ones that don't do that. As you say, because the challenges all require materials, they'll all unlock the character. They'll all unlock things that are useful, but not for the character that is the new thing. So, Am I supposed to get freaking through. Am I supposed to be direct to get through this? Bullshit! Come on. Uh, yeah, I think that is. In the main game, in Age of Calamity, they do suggest you are Derek to roll through all the lava, don't they? And in fact, you have Derek in the mission as well. Yeah, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I'm gonna have to at some point, okay. I know, but I don't really want to. So we need to complete the Relic of Legend and the Ultimate Relic challenges. So we need to complete the challenges on the web and work way to the right. Uh, each one will halfway qualify you for the final trial that is necessary. So, we'll see what materials we've got out of this, and how far down the thing we can get. I'm going to assume that you actually did manage to complete the, the remote bomb killing uh, condition for one of the challenges. Yeah, there we go.
It's nice to keep track of it. You don't have to keep checking yourself. Yeah, that is useful. Um, we should be able to buy some more materials now too, uh, from the shop. Yeah, the shops will have all reset, won't they? In theory. Um, well, the am thing, I doing like, strong monster, big level, or mini level? I would say do a big level, um, and then we'll see what we need to do for challenges and big, uh, vicious monsters after that. Okay. I'm going to buy stuff from the shop first, though. Yeah, of course. So I've got three monsters. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there wasn't a pop-up on the right-hand side to say, hey, you've unlocked, you've got the ability to unlock uh, challenges, but... Um... No, I know. Um... It's you! Yes! But I have. You so. did complete the condition here, yes. So, yeah. <laughs> Had to do that, right? Mm -hmm. but yeah, so when you zoom out. Oh, yeah, that's quite nice to freeze enemies. So, when you zoom out on this challenge page, if you move to the right, you can see the final two challenges at the top there. So, that's the final challenge on the very right to unlock the new character. So the very that, top right. That one or that one? Top right, that one. So that's to unlock the new character. So yeah. obviously you need to do the challenges before that to get to there. Um, but it seems like you might be able to skip part of the middle for the challenge to... Are you not freezing? I'm freezing. No, no. Fucking cold. Should I do these? Are it's you going to use King Rowan? Are you going to use Riju? That's... I get an outfit too. Yeah, okay, well, sure. The materials that you're using to spend on these aren't required for some things that you need for the new character anyway, so... Might as well. But again, the new outfits only correspond to Link, so playing as Tabor you won't be able to see them either way. And we've got Reaper here! Helloing! Hello Reaper, thanks for joining, how are you doing today? Hello! Yeah, you might as well, you've got plenty of materials. It's also X. Well, it's for the flail, so the flail is a DLC weapon, you wouldn't necessarily have that if you didn't, you know, have the DLC. Uh, no. And you got a spear ability? Hang on, that was a bit different. There's flail and spear, and I think the yeah, spear Yeah, but the is spear a... was a weapon that existed beforehand, so what you got was an enhanced ability for the spear. I think you'll have to go to the spear to figure out uh, what it actually is, what oh. the ability is. Yeah, just any spear, I guess, would do. Uh, those are all quests rather than weapons. Fuck it, Fuck it. Well, don't mash. There you go. Um, so yeah, so I would say do a main DLC quest, which is one of the big EX ones. I know, I'm just looking for any little upgrade spots. I'm just going to move that because I'm... Okay. Yes. I'm not going to hold it the whole time. Well, I was going to say, you're going to move it and then just hand it to me instead. Did I move it? No. Yes? No, I moved it. Come on. Looking pretty good, huh? So, this ability is press X temporarily to shorten your charge time. Shit, for what? Well, you don't know how long the charge time is, do you? I don't really focus on it. Ding! I mean, they're just no. optional extras for, you know, buying DLC, adding new combos to characters, which makes sense, because, you know, they want to make, they want to add new content, but they also want to add stuff to the thing that already exists. It's not work! But you know. Oh, mm -hmm. so I can play... Can't in that one. Okay, I can play as Tabor in these ones. Sure. Go ahead then. So, yes. Kakariko Village! What we got to do? Aid the Hylian Captain, don't allow monsters to break into the outpost, and then something secret. So, uh, battle for Kakariko Village. <laughs> Naruk and Yunobo boarded divine beast Varudania together and drove off a great swarm of guardians from eastern Hyrule. They attempted to rendezvous with the other champions, but along oh, the way. way, they caught sight of a horde of monsters bearing down on Kakariko village. Rendezvous. Naruk and really Yunobo nice 
One is pilot of the divine beast, and one is protector of the people of the ground. He's holding the porch. <laughs> Joined forces it's not that same. Is it Bone Cotton Smasher or Stone? Stone Smasher, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I like Bone Smasher better. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's a bit uh, violent for a Zelda game, Bone Smasher. Everything's I wonder why you can play as Tabor in this map. Because you would expect, you know, it's a story mission involving Yunobo and Daruk. I'm surprised they don't force you to play as Yunobo and Daruk. Awesome. Yeah, we're in Kakariko Village. So this is an entirely new battle map. Uh, okay. And I, is the main Kakariko Village in Breath of the Wild this big? I don't remember being it's able to Is it in Breath go... of the Wild? Yeah, of course it is. It's where you see Impa. Well, I'm I think thinking. It's, I think it's actually a bit bigger than. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's like I think this has been extended because it's a battle map. It's a friggin' the, the very. Did extremes... you see that? Hmm? There was chicken. What was that? You mean a cuckoo? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, so what? So name one other time you've seen an animal in Hyrule Warriors. You play as a giant cuckoo in the Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. You play as one, but yeah. you don't. So See there them. Is, there is Th animals. Are... There are horses in the background of the game. Yeah, but these and, are you know. these are actual background. Um, oh. Sorry, I should be focusing. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, right, dude, you're gonna kill this fire moblin. You are going to go over here and kill this wizard? No, you're not. Why can't you? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So keep monsters out of the two Kakariko village outposts should be fairly easy to do because they're the close ones, not the far away ones. Uh, and you can help the Kylian captain in the south eventually. And there's another bit, but I won't let you. I won't tell you that bit yet because uh, you don't need to know. You don't need to know. Mighty Lionel Spear. Oh, by the way, I also sold a few items that had high resale value and no other special uh, skills or abilities on your uh, characters. Mm -hmm. Well, it's to clear up space in your inventory no, not so why. you can get when? before we started. What? Oh. What? I did the cow thing. What cow thing? I didn't look up. Ah, uh, yeah. To be fair, most. Hyrule Warriors maps tend to focus on being flat, and we found this in the main game as well. The parts where you can jump down into different areas is like, oh yeah, that's, that's cool that they add this, but it also makes it a lot more difficult to just actually get around. It's like, wh where is it? Where's the map? Oh hmm. yeah, look up and then that's it. Right, okay, so I'm just going to get the... Whilst I'm thinking about it. Uh, uh, oh, God. Mm -hmm. I think it's up. Choo-choo! Well, up is towards the chests, yeah. Be sure. Ah, there it is. So, yeah, so it's towards the chest, but uh, I believe Derek and Yonobo will have the yellow dots to beat fire moblins, which I assume you want to keep an eye on because you have to kill them to make sure they don't go into the outpost. Yeah, but they're not doing anything, so I'm not too worried about it right now. Okay. I'm keeping an eye on it, but mm -hmm. right, there's like nothing up here. Mm hmm, correct. What was the point in this place? Well, I assume it's a thing that'll appear later. Because, you know, the, the main structure of a mission is. Um... Oh, right. I, I guess that doesn't work for freezing them, does it? Right. Well, that was the whole friggin' point was that I'm supposed to freeze enemies, so it looks like I'm gonna have to freeze big choppies. Yeah. Or at least uh, enemies that can be frozen <gasps> with the uh, thing. There you go! Why, yeah. Wait, do I do anything with this? No. Oh. You, you've already done the great fairy stuff. Because uh, they're an unlockable character. Mm -hmm. So um, you don't have aha, to worry about aha. it. No, come on. Did I get it? Cool. Alright. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the main structure of a Hyrule War Warrior's mission is do the objective, a new objective will appear in a different area. That's when you would go and explore and go and do all the different things because these outposts are now locked. You yeah. Would, you would have to come here later anyway. Oh. 
What even level is he? 53 compared to, eight, to 88 on Taylor. You know, it's funny. Most people, like... The, the appeal of a, a Warriors game for a franchise that you like, like Zelda or Fire Emblem or Persona or whoever, is usually... No, Smash Bros isn't a Warriors game. Is usually to play as all the different characters, but you just kind of stick with just the ones that you want to play as. Which means that you level yeah. up one super good character, and then the rest are kind of like, oh, it's really hard to fight with these guys. Well, it's like, of course they are, because you don't you don't play as them. You keep neglecting them. It's like uh, it's the, the... the thing in Pokemon where you you only play the game using the starter. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to figure out. Beat the. Defeat the Fire Moblins and their allies attacking Kakariko Village. So, Yunobo is next to the yellow dot. Okay, I couldn't see it for the like of looking. Yeah. Or remember you want to send um, Darrup to go to the other yellow dot. Save yourself some time. I can't. Why not? Because he's up there. Yeah? Can you not, like, He's Darryl? on the beast. He's on the... Oh, he's on the beast. Right, okay. That explains uh, why I else. couldn't do it. Yeah. yeah. What? What do you mean something else? Okay. You'll find out. It's fine. Bonk! Yeah, I was gonna say, do you play Pokemon where you just use the starter all the time? And just like, yeah, forget all the other characters? No. I only do Nuzlocke or Pinsy Lock. But you're, you're one of those people that would keep the starter throughout the main game. Eh, it's not an uncommon thing. Most people are like, oh, this is the first Pokemon you got. It's, you know, forming a special bond with you. Because it's like, it's, it's, it's a usually it, unique Pokemon compared to all the other characters. It's just Freeze with you. Yes, just Freeze. So I, I think it's do it 60 times rather than do 60 enemies, really. But they can't say do it 60 times. Well, I didn't Freeze it. I think it has to be a response. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Got ya. <laughs> the other thing is you've got a thing to kill enemies using the fire rubble, so. Yeah, I know, but I haven't done that yet. Uh, Reaper says, there is the same thing in RPGs where you su use some companions but not others. If the game has a place where you need to use a specific companion and you didn't level them up, it's a bad time. Well, yeah. I think there are some, some old games are really bad at doing that, where they force you to play as a character that you may not have been playing as previously and therefore it's a real slog or even sometimes uh, impossible to you know progress to the next part of the level uh, or the game but i say that in certain cases that's good oh wow i don't remember seeing that ability before <laughs> exactly um eh? where Next to Derek. Go, Derek, go! But I think it's good to sort of encourage variety. Like, imagine if you played Xenoblade Chronicles the entire time with just, you know, Ryan and Sharla. Like, it'd be... you lack a bit of diversity in the cats. So, they sort of incentivize you. Oh, you that can is play, get into the thing, play isn't it? as Melia. Uh, no, the no. wizard robe has almost reached the allied stronghold. I'm trying to go, but I can only go someone to- someone left it unattended. No! The silver moblin has almost reached the allied stronghold. Fuck off. There's the wizard robe. There's the wizard robe. Is it in? A monster has made it inside Kakariko village. Finish the mission because you got, you know, that was a good- No! That was a good 15 minutes already, um. so. Come on, you can't do this. Just play the mission and replay it another time. You're not going to get it the first time through. You didn't get the other ones the first time through either. But also, it's your fault for leaving it on the center. Meteor! Cool. Yeah. This is spicy Meteor. So as long as a game that requires you to play multiple characters has the ability to let you catch that character up, then I think playing as other characters is fine. I I've seen this Xenoblade X has a mandatory party, always you, Elmer, and Lynn, and the fourth of your choice. I thought you didn't always have to stay with uh, Lynn. I'm pretty sure... 
I have never seen Meteor with Rope before. Yeah, Meteor with Rope is a new enemy. Okay. I mean, it's basically just a different fire with Rope, to be honest, but, you know, it's slightly different. Uh, it requires the other fourth person only for their specific quest. Again, yeah, it makes sense. If you're doing a mission that is related to that character's story, then you do it. Uh, Lynn and Delmer are always mandatory for the main story quest. Okay, I guess I don't remember it. It has been a while since we played Xenoblade X. Like, oh, it's been fuck. Oh, right, he's got bombs now? in his back. What's been six years? Xenoblade X. It came out in 2015, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. I might be misremembering something else about it, but it's fine. Um, this is just confusing so yeah. now. In fact, in in Pokemon, I find it's probably a bit more uncommon for you to not use the starter. Like people have their favorite Pokemon that they choose, but most people will. Wait stick a with second! The there's a monster over there. How do I get to that? There's a monster over where? There. So, are you trying to go to the red dot on the map? Yeah. So you yeah, probably need to there. head up and then right. Yeah. It's got teeny tiny walls in the way. Or not open. Well, this seems like it's a dead end. I can see the red dot you're referring to. It's just over the blue arrow where you are now. But I think that might be the other the secret the secret mission there's a mission there is a secret mission but that's not it well, i don't know that i know i i'm just saying it's, that's not the secret mission just so you don't like worry about missing it you can retire the characters in xenoblade x if you didn't activate the main quest and i'm replaying it on simu how do you, you get it i'm sure it will become available to you at a, at a more appropriate time Ice Boblin! Fuck you! Generally, the answer is if you can't do something, continue with the main mission and then it'll unlock it for you. There's a lot of games that do that, is we're gating this thing off from you and you just need to come back later. It's like the whole foundation of Metroidvanias. What was the other mission? So, the memory quest. So aid the overextended Hylian captain. So there will be a blue dot somewhere at some point. Hey, Rodania defeated the Blade Master for you, that's nice. Reaper says, if you remember in Xenoblade X, the story doesn't progress automatically. You have to go to the barracks and activate the main quest. When you activate it, Elmer and Lynn are mandatory and you can't change them. What the heck? What? Let me open that. Open! Now that you say it, Reaper, I think, yeah, you're right in that uh, because it's an open world game and you don't automatically follow a story, you have to activate the story, then yeah, Elmer and Lynn are required. Like, I'm sort of, well, kind of playing through Octopath Traveler, but I haven't gone back to it for a while, and that game requires you to choose the main character of that sub-story, so the eight main characters, the that main character has to be in their sub-story, because obviously it makes sense. Uh, but then you can choose any other characters that you want. And I think the idea is, is that you level up all of the characters equally so that none of them fall behind, because you could just do like you know game-breaking strategies with just a single team, but eventually you need to choose the other characters. Whoop! Choo-choo! Choo-choo! Oh! He's shooting choo-choos at me! He's shooting choo-choos at you? Yeah! He's just like spitting them out! I bubble him. Bonk. I suppose that is always the benefit of playing with a you know good quality gaming PC is that you can actually emulate games to be much better than the original yeah. hardware they were released for. Uh, <laughs> like we, I've done it with um. Fire Emblem, but uh, nothing else that's more strenuous than that, to be honest. Go, go, go! Oh, that's the other thing. When you're playing a game that asks you to play as multiple characters, the game expects you to not 
be able to use one character to blaze through it. Hence why, you know, they give you multiple in this pack. Wait, hang on, let's see another one. Like... Oh, what are you trying to do? Hey. Ah. Uh, Xenoblade X can be a pain to emulate. It has a brightness bug. Really? Huh. Interesting. I wonder if the same thing happens on Wind Waker HD when you just crank up the bloom all the way up. You know, just make it absolutely blinding. Basically, it's too bright. Some people can't play because they can't see anything in the daytime. Would you not be able to turn the settings down in game rather than, you know, having to rely on Simu? Is it Simu or Simu? Demu? Demu? C E M U? I don't know how to pronounce that. Probably Simu. No, no, that was from SeaWorld. No, that's Shamu. Shamu's dead now, right? How long did Shamu live for? One of them killed one of the trainers, but I can't remember which one it was. Hmm. Uh, oh yeah, Shamu's long dead. So I saw Shamu in person before I realised that it was very cool. You never saw Shamu in person. Well, never they ever, said, ever. They said they were Shamu. Mm, okay, I don't think so, but... Uh, Why, when... Shamu was a captive killer whale that appeared in shows at SeaWorld San Diego in the mid-late to 1960s. She was the fourth orca ever captured and the second female. She was caught in October 1965 and died in August 1971 after about right. six years of captivity. Find out if there was one in Florida because I'm sure I saw one that was called Shamu. Well, at least they said it was called Shamu. After her death, the name Shamu continued to be used in the SeaWorld Shamu shows for different orca in different SeaWorld parks. But yes, you never saw a Shamu. The said it was Shamu. Shamu. You've got to assume, you've got to assume that it is Shamu if they say, oh, by the way, this is Shamu. Mm -hmm. What else am I going to go on? Shamu was the first known intentional live capture of a healthy orca, as the three previous captures had been more opportunistic. The very young 14-foot southern resident orca was captured by Ted Griffin in Washington to be a companion for the male killer whale, Namu, at Seattle's public aquarium. Namu and Shamu. Her name means friend of Namu, alternatively she Namu, or Shamu. Shamu was retired from performing after an incident on the 19th of April 1971, in which she bit the legs and hips of Anne Eckes, a SeaWorld employee who was told to ride her as part of a film publicity stunt, uh, and refused to release the one until other workers came to rescue and pry the whale's jaws, jaws apart with a pole. It's not a whale. It's a killer whale. Killer whale isn't a whale. Stop. It's called killer whale. Orcanus orca species. It's a killer whale. Killer oh, whale's dolphin. It's an orca. It's a dolphin. No, orcas are not dolphins. They said it on BBC Radio. BBC Radio can be wrong, funnily enough. Well, that's not very good. Punk. Right, okay. They are the largest member of the Delphinidae dolphin family. Ha! So it's not a dolphin, it's a killer whale, dolphin but the whole family. group is Delphinidae. You just don't want to admit that I knew something that you did. Okay. I heard it on the radio, and the BBC says that one must assume that it's correct information. True, the BBC can't be seen to outright lie to people, I guess. Although it's radio, so they kind of say things. Oh yeah, they'll say not, things all the time. It's not play. built. Oh really. yeah, we're just you know fact checking, whatever. Uh. So Anne Eckes had been asked to ride Shamu while wearing a bikini, and had not known that the killer whale had previously attacked people who wore ordinary bathing suits, or was only conditioned to perform with tra trainers wearing wetsuits. Shamu had also been showing signs of erratic behaviour and of being upset just before the incident and then died four months later, August 16th, 1971. Oh. Just died 1971, doesn't say uh, cause of death. Okay. Uh, what? Yeah? Said this village belongs to... Yeah, just fighting them, yeah. 
it's a little quote to say, Ha, we're gonna beat you. Oh no, you're beating Yeah, but yours. I thought I'd like lost. I don't know. Um, I need to go to him. Yep. Be careful of the Silver Moblin invading the Allied Stronghold. Okay, so I'm gonna send Faber to... The Allied there. Stronghold. And then I'm gonna mm -hmm. switch to... Okay. So, let's see. Famous Cetaceans. Um, mm -hmm. You know, some of these are famous, and yet I don't know many, many of them. What like, is? so I'm going down the list of famous whales, dolphins, and porpoises, right? Right. And the majority of these I have never heard of. Right, go name them, and I'll see if I know. Fifty-two hertz whale. 52 hertz whale? Yep. Is that the one... Wait, is it a whale, did you say? It's a blue whale hybrid, possibly. Blue whale hybrid, right. I don't know any ones with blue whales. Yeah. Oop, wrong one. Uh, Kobo. Kobo, was that the one in Ace Ventura? Mm, no. Kobo means king of the blue ocean. It's a skeleton of a 66 foot long blue whale in Massachusetts. It was killed by a tanker in 1998. I've heard of it. Yeah, that, that's what I'm going through. It's like famous like whales and dolphins. And yeah, most of these I've never heard of. Um, so, I can go through the uh, whole list, but I think I'll just go through the ones that seem to be famous. George and Gracie from Star Trek IV The Voyage Home. Uh, there's quite a few grey whales. Bonnet, Crossbeak, Bone, Putu, Siku, Kanik. Come on. Fred Wilma Bam Bam in the book and film Big Miracle. Uh, River Thames whale? What? Oh, Where's yeah. The monster. Yeah. What? The River Thames whale, affectionately nicknamed Willy by Londoners, because of course they're all original was a juvenile female northern bottlenose whale which was discovered swimming in the River Thames in January 2006. Uh, Didn't that one die? She died from convulsions after being rescued shortly after 7pm on the 21st of January 2006. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure that she died. The whale appeared to have been lost as her normal habitat would have been around the coast of Scotland and Northern Ireland. It was the first time the species had been seen in the Thames since records began in 1913. So the famous, the famous uh, whales and dolphins that I can think of. Mm -hmm. So um, the ones that immediately come to mind uh -huh. um, are is the one in Ace Ventura. So Pet Detective. Pet Detective. Nope. No, no mention of Ace Ventura on this list. There is a dolphin. In there. I'm sure there is, but. Not on this list. There's one in Free Willy. Yep, that's going to be one on the list, I imagine. Uh, Free Willy! Uh, Kaiko is the name of the whale in Free Willy. Is that the name of the, the one, the character? Or the... Yes, Kaiko who portrayed Willy in the film Free Willy. Right, okay. Um... I'm sorry! I if you had dolphins in, but I can't remember. Mm -hmm. uh, Echo the dolphin is a famous dolphin. That was um, a film about dolphins. It's a game. Uh, but, it, I but, thought there yeah. was a film. No, no, Echo the dolphin is a video game series. It gets really like in depth and weird because it's all to do with um, like sea life that are disappearing. So Echo the dolphin is trying to figure out what's going on. Right. Okay. Uh, Go on then, so what, what are the, what are the actual, the can we do real ones? Like? Real dolphins. Yeah, animal actors please. Animal actors, okay. Uh, <laughs> Hoi Wai, who portrayed Neptune in the film Moon Warriors. I've never seen Moon Warriors. Namu, featured in the film Namu the Killer Whale. <laughs> the Orca, from the 1977 film Orca. Uh, <laughs> We've got uh, Moby Dick, Monstro, Pearl Crabs. Wait, hang on, Monstro, I remember that. What's that from? Is that not from um, Pinocchio? It is from Pinocchio. You're right. 
Uh, you seem impressed that I actually knew what that was from. Mm, yeah, I mean, most people might not recognize Monstro is from Pinocchio. Uh, and it's then the main enemy. And then there's main, there's legendary ones like Leviathan, Tannin, uh, the Book of Jonah Whale, things like that. Um, yeah, so, Echo the Dolphin. So, Echo the Dolphin is a series of action-adventure video games. Uh, hang on. Oh, this doesn't have a plot summary of the first game. Let's go and look at that. So, the game opens with Echo, a bottlenose dolphin, as he and his pod are swimming in their home bay. A pod mate challenges Echo to a game to see how high he can go in the air. When he's in the air, a giant water spout forms and sucks up all marine life in the bay except Echo, leaving him alone. Upon leaving the bay, Echo swims around meeting other marine life, including other dolphins, who tell them that they've felt the storm and the entire ocean is in chaos. An orca that Echo encounters tells him to travel to the Arctic to meet the Big Blue, an ancient blue whale revered by marine life for his age and wisdom, who might be able to help Echo on his journey. Arriving in the Arctic after a long journey through the ocean, Echo finds the Big Blue, who says that storms occur every 500 years. Though the Big Blue doesn't know what causes the storms, he suggests that Echo should seek the Asterite, the oldest life form on Earth. Acting on this advice, Echo leaves the Arctic and travels to a deep sea cavern where he finds the Asterite. To his dismay, though, the Asterite would otherwise have the power to aid Echo, it currently can't, as some orbs from its body were lost a long time ago. The Asterite tells Echo to go to the sunken ruins of the city of Atlantis, where he can use the time machine left behind by the Atlanteans to retrieve the orbs. So you go from a game, oh, you play as a dolphin, and then things happen, right, obviously, because there's conflict, and then you suddenly introduce time machines. Echo travels to the sunken city of Atlantis where he discovers an ancient library filled with glyphs, giant crystals filled with information. From the library, Echo learns about the source of the storms, an alien race known as the Vortex lost the ability to produce food on their planet. According to the text, when the planets align once every 500 years, the Vortex use the technology to harvest from the waters of Earth. The Atlanteans fought a long war with the War Vortex, which only ended when the Vortex fired a beam at Atlantis, sending the city into the depths of the ocean. Learning this, Echo activates the Time Machine and travels 55 million years into the Earth's past. While Echo is in the past, he learns an ancient song to communicate with a Pteranodon. Echo locates the asteroid in the past, but is immediately attacked by it. Forced into battle, he manages to dislodge a globe. This opens a time portal, and he is sent back to the present. Oh, After receiving on, the globe, the asteroid grants him the power to turn his sonar into a deadly weapon against the water. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. As well as the abilities to breathe underwater and to slowly regenerate lost health. Okay, fair enough. I don't remember having to ever come up to air as a dolphin though, Neko. You played I, it. Um, hmm? You played it. I remember playing like maybe the first half an hour of it. I have never played it all the way through. And then it's one of those things like, wow, you hear about the plot summary of Echo the Dolphin, like, that really happened in the game that I played? So the asteroid instructs him to use the time machine to travel back in time to the hour of the harvest. Uh, this time he is sucked into the water spout with his pod. Echo is sent flying through outer space to a giant tube like machine. Making his way through the construct, Echo arrives on the planet Vortex, engaging the aliens in combat. He makes his way to the Vortex Queen, engages in the fight. When the Queen is defeated, she spits out Echo's pod, and the dolphins make their collective escape back to Earth. But yeah, so. For a game that was made in uh, 1992, that is probably one of the weirder ones, I, I, I would say. They were all pretty weird around that time. Uh, okay, I'm lost. I'm hearing something about a dolphin video game Atlantis time travel. Yes. Uh, we just read You're not out... lost. You're here exactly where we are. <laughs> we just read out the plot summary to Echo the Dolphin. Uh, and like I said to Pimsy, I remember playing that game like briefly on the Sega Mega Drive, or it'd be Genesis in the US. And yeah, like I said, I do not remember aliens and time travel and Atlantis in it at all. But apparently it is. So, yeah. Uh, chances are you can actually replay uh, Echo the Dolphin on the Nintendo Switch 64 expansion pack membership. <laughs> So you'd be able to, you know, experience that for yourself. Not going to like this. But yeah, this is 
What a what a weird game. Huh. You're not like this. Ah. Yeah. Uh, so that was Echo the Dolphin. Can we look at other animal actors? Yeah, like famous animal, animal famous actors. animal actors. Well, I mean, if we're talking about famous animal actors, you've got you've got to know the most famous animal actor is. Who is the most famous animal actor? Well, the MGM lion, of course. How is that an actor? How is that not an actor? It's a lion that they recorded roaring. It's a an lion. animal. Do you know what the term animal actor means? No, go on. It's an a an animal that's used in film. Right. So the lion. They're considered animal actors. Okay. So MGM lion, right? And then there's the monkey from Friends. Leo the lion is the mascot for the Hollywood film studio Metro Goldwyn Mayer. MGM. And is featured in the production logo. And it's the same one that they used back then, so they've not got a new. Uh, uh, okay. A new Since thing. 1917 and through the time the studio was formed by the merger of Samuel Goldwyn Studio with Marcus Lowe's Metro Pictures and Louis B. Meyer's company in 1924, there have been 11 different lions using the MGM logo. Really? I thought Although they used MGM the same... has referred to all of the lions using their trademark as Leo the Lion. Only the current lion in use since 1957 was actually named Leo. Right, okay, so it's the same as Shamu then. They're all called the same bloody thing. Yeah, so the, the famous animals that I can think of is so obviously Leo the lion then. And the monkey from Friends. Alright, so I'm sure monkey will be a, a category. There's so... quite a few monkeys. Um, the... Um, uh, there was a monkey in Ace Ventura as well, which might even be the same actor. Well, uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, no, no. There was a penguin not. in Ace Ventura as well, but I can't remember. So, Ace Ventura monkey actor. What was the monkey in there? Uh, Binks, the capuchin monkey. List of individual monkeys. Quite a lot in Ace Ventura, but I mean, mm -hmm. quite different. So, Binks, the white headed capuchin, appeared in Ace Ventura 1 and 2, Joe of the Jungle, and Bruce Almighty. So, worked with the same actor then. Um, the other ones I can think of um, is the. There's quite a few dogs. Um, the one that I'm mainly thinking about are the ones from like a cat and a dog, and they like. Like something called Home or something like that. Homeward Bound. Yeah, is it Homeward Bound? It's the one with the golden retriever, another dog, and a cat. There's two dogs in there? Yep. Uh, sure. Marley? Of course. Okay. Homeward Bound. Have really a look, nothing. see. The Incredible Journey! Chance is an American Bulldog, uh, a Golden Retriever, and a Himalayan Cat. Uh, the, when you look for animal actors, they come up with the voice actors. So Michael J. Fox was Chance, Donna Mesh was Shadow, and Sally Field was Sassy. So he doesn't actually say... Well, I guess the, the animals would never really get the credit. Unless it's a fairly prolific one, like Crystal the Monkey is a female capuchin monkey and animal actress acquired and trained by Birds and Animals Unlimited, uh, Hollywood's largest supply of actors. Uh, of animal actors. Her acting career began as a baby monkey in Disney's 1997 film George of the Jungle. More recently, she portrayed the annoying monkey Dexter in Night at the Museum and a drug dealing monkey in Hangover Part 2. Mm. There was one in um, Pirates of Caribbean as well. The, so the, there's another one that I'm thinking of um, from like back then, um, which has just gone out of my head. What are the ones on the list? Well, I'm going through... So there's different categories. There's bear actors, chimpanzee actors, dog actors, horse actors, and then there's individual ones like uh, oh, Jimmy the Raven. Black Beauty. Black Beauty. That would be a horse actor, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the other thing is that it names the horse. It doesn't say what the horse is famous for. So that's kind of a bit right, weird. Okay. But Black Beauty. Or the white horse, horse from Lord actor. of the Rings. 
I mean, I think at this point you're just kind of naming animals that have appeared in film. No, but they're the famous ones. Yeah. I'm not talking about all the other ones, I'm talking about Gandalf's one. Yeah. Uh, who was the horse in Black Beauty was Jenny. Oh, Jenny in Spirit. So they shared some scenes. So, Shadow Fat, Lord of the Rings. Horse. Uh, Shadow Fax was played by two Andalusian stallions, Blanco and Demero. Oh, beautiful. Uh, there was... Um, no, the one I was going to say before that I forgot was the lions that played the lions purchased at Harrods. Uh, huh? Where they were separated at birth, mm -hmm. and I can't remember the film. And Reaper is suggesting Inspector Rex is an Austrian, Austrian TV series. Rex is a dog and several dogs have interpreted Rex. Toto! Toto from Kansas. Good one. I guess so. A Toto actor. Oh, it's a dog actor, that's why it would be a thing. Right, so I aided the overextended hiding capture. I don't know what the other one was. What was the other thing? The other thing was to use Varudania to defeat enemies. Um, How the fuck? The, I need to find the thing again. So, memory quest. Ekariko village. 